What's up guys, your boy Casadero here. And I wanna answer a question that I've been asked a few times, and that is how I got my job at Microsoft. And I can tell you that I did all the typical stuff. I wrote a resume, I went to school, studied software development, um, I applied, somebody called me, I went and I had a bunch of interviews. But the truth is I didn't do any of that. <laughs> I just, I was in the right place at the right time. Um, and, and I changed the way that I was thinking about everything. I started writing my goals down three times a day, every day, exactly what I wanted. And it wasn't, it, I wasn't writing, I wanna work for soft. I was writing um, basically what I want my life to be like. And I mean, this was like cars, houses, money, everything, three times a day, every day. And then whenever I was in a situation where I wasn't happy, I would, I would tell people, I would say, hey, look, man, this thing that I'm doing right now, I'm not making enough money. I deserve to make more money. I deserve this. I deserve that. And I started doing that back in July. I started writing my goals three times a day. Um, and then I ordered the Freedom Journal for John, from John Lee Dumas. And I started working through the exercises in the Freedom Journal. And I just, I started telling people like, hey, look, man, I'm, I'm looking for something different. I gotta have something different. And I got a call one day from a guy that I used to work with. And I didn't even work with him that long. We probably spent a month together. And he said, hey, you want a job? And I said, yeah, what is it? And he, he asked me if I wanted to work at Microsoft. And that was it. And that's how I got here. I didn't do anything special. I didn't fill out a resume. I, nobody has ever seen my resume. Um, I, didn't even, I didn't even interview. I got a phone call and within an hour I had a job paying me way more money than I was making before. And I, I could say I did all this fancy stuff, but I didn't. I just changed the way I was thinking. I, I started to focus on what I wanted to go right in my life instead of focusing on what was going wrong and if you guys saw my first video you saw that um, that was the time that I started thinking different and I turned everything around um, and then in roughly six months um, my life was completely different I mean it's, it's fantastic I'm sending I'm in I'm in Bellevue right now at the Brave Earn outside the Microsoft building and behind me is the Neiman Marcus and I'm about to go into my office. Well, this it, my office is in another building across the street, but I'm about to go in here and get some breakfast. But that was it. I that's how I got my job. I just I don't know. I thought like I already had it. I'm in the cafeteria now, the cafe. Just to, and I'm showing you guys just to show you that I am indeed at Microsoft. And then when I was talking before, I was actually I was down there around the corner. But this is this is the Brave Room. And the other building behind me is. Uh, I don't know if the, I don't, Microsoft doesn't own the buildings. They like lease all the floors. On that on that floor over there, there's a cafe. Um, in that building over there, there's a cafe on the 13th floor, and I'm in the cafe on the fifth floor in this building right now. And this is where I come to eat breakfast every morning. I work in a building. We can't see it from here, but I work across the street in a different building. That's not. It's not associated with Microsoft at all. Like these buildings have the Microsoft logo on them, but I work on the other side of the street. And what I would do is I would come in, I would come here to the cafe and I would get breakfast and then I would go eat it at my desk. But it's so nice over here. So I started coming here to eat and it's always empty. So I sit in the same place every morning and I eat whatever, you know, I, I usually have, I've been having omelets for the last week. Um, before that I was having oatmeal every day. And, um, but I'm babbling now. I'm, I'm talking about stuff that you guys really don't care about. What you care about is how I got the job, that I got how I ended up getting here. Um, and of course, it's not just the mindset. It is, I did a lot of stuff before I got to this point. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They, they see that, that where I am and they go, oh, you're so lucky. And I did, I did get lucky in a sense, but you have to be in proximity to luck. I did, I was in the military for a long time and I have a bunch of experience there. I have background there. And then I've been studying technology for for as long as I can remember since I was since high school when I when I first discovered computers. And I'm not a software developer. I'm not a programmer. I'm a system admin on Office 365 with the goal of being a developer. And 
it's not even a goal to be a developer for Microsoft. It's, I want to be a developer first and foremost for myself. I want to build stuff that I think about. And fortunately, that lines up with the way things are right now. Companies need people to make software. They need people who understand that stuff. And fortunately, I'm just in a place where I'm really passionate about that stuff. And it just all sort of linked up. But what I want to get across is, 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 is it's, not all, it's not all tactical stuff. It's not all about what you put on your resume. It's, it's about changing the way you think about the world around you um, and about yourself and about your skill set and about what you have of value. But mainly just, just, just not being negative about stuff. And the opportunities will come. And I mean, there's, there's, here's the, here's the thing, right? When you change the way you think about situations and outcomes, then your actions automatically change. So when I started thinking about the situation I was in and how I didn't want to be there, um, I immediately had to shift gears. And I was able to do that because I've just been studying this stuff so long. So I knew that I needed to start writing my goals down and start focusing on what I wanted instead of what I wasn't getting. And so when I started focusing focus, focusing on what I wanted, I started talking to people differently. I started communicating in a different way. I started doing different things. I started shooting YouTube videos. I shot, of all the videos you see on the channel now, the, the first 40 videos I, I recorded in, it, it was like a, 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 two, a one to two month time span. I just started doing a lot of different things. And then I don't know, it's like I was telling the universe what I wanted and then the phone rang and and that was it. And it like literally changed my life. And it, it sounds esoteric and it is, right? But that's the way the world is. And that's real talk. It's just the way it is. And, and I don't know. That, but that's how I got my job at Microsoft. I changed the way I was thinking and I started doing things that had me focusing on what what was possible, what could happen. And like I said, I never wrote about being here at Microsoft. Um, I've always liked Bellevue. I've always been fascinated by Bellevue because there's money here. There's there's tons of money um, there, and there's a ton of smart people. Like there's geniuses here. And I, I didn't I didn't pinpoint the place I pinpointed the lifestyle that I wanted to have um, and and I and when I wrote my goals I wrote them as if they had already happened like I was living them I, that's how I would write them and I would write them every day three times a day and I, and I miss days I miss the three times a day but it was always there and I hope I that's what that's what that's what I did and I didn't tell anybody nobody knew I was doing this I was just doing it for me for myself and and I started and, and that just changed the way I was thinking about things and I would be in situations and I would be like bro like this is ridiculous I'm too smart for this and I started thinking about how I can make that different and this is the result and it's not over yet it's not over yet I, I still I'm still in situations where you know it's not easy I still have things I want to learn, things I want to do, but I don't think about what I don't know. Like I'm not, I'm surrounded by genius software developers, but I don't think about that. I think about me becoming like them as opposed to what I don't know. So that's pretty much it, guys. I almost feel bad because I believe the story you want to hear is more rooted in stuff you can physically do. like. I went on free code camp and I completed a curriculum and I put that on a resume and I sent that out and that's how I got a job. And that's that's not the story I have to tell. I don't think it's, it's, it's realistic, but we have to understand that success is, it's a result of the way we think and not necessarily of what we do. If we, if we think a certain way, we're gonna be driven to do certain things anyway. So if we think we wanna be a software developer, and not even think if we know that that's what we're going to do then the actions we take are going to put us in positions to, to be just that now I'm not I'm not a software developer right now but I'm a definitely a step closer today than I was yesterday or the day before or 
a month ago or six months ago when I first started this YouTube channel. So you really have to change your mindset. That's, that's the only lesson I have is change the way you think about what it is you want to do. And you're going to change the things you do. You'll change the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you speak, the way you talk to people. And when you have a burning hot desire for something more than what you have or to be something more than what you are, then it's gonna come out, it has to, it's like a volcano. The, the lava's gonna rise up, the top's gonna blow off and it's gonna explode and eventually you're gonna, you're gonna cut a path to where you wanna be and it's not gonna happen overnight, it's not gonna happen, it may not, it may not happen for a year, it may not happen for me. I was down here thinking and I didn't have my phone so I wasn't recording but I went back up to my desk and I started writing what I, what I titled The Manifesto and it took me 15 years to get here. I started when I was in high school on my first computer, IBM 286, and I got distracted along the way. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is what it is. I got distracted, I started doing other things, and I spent a whole lot of time trying to find my way back to this particular mindset where anything was possible. And it's not even about software development for me. I don't wanna be a full-time software developer I want to create shit I want to be able to make stuff I want to have an idea and be able to sit down at a computer because that's what I like to do and, and manifest it and make it a reality that's what being a software developer is for me and that's gonna blossom in other things businesses and, and investments and all kinds of other stuff but for me this is the core this is the base and it doesn't have to be soft it could be anything it could be soccer basketball volleyball i have a, my son my son loves trains pool and bowling and that's his thing that's his base he that's that's what he he likes at least for now my daughter likes dancing um so we all have a base you just gotta you just gotta figure out what it is what it is maybe maybe you want to be a software developer for the wrong reasons so you got to figure out what the right reasons are what is your base what it is you want to do and then don't let anything stop you become obsessed with it make it make it a part of who you are make it your core and things will start to change for you so yeah there's no there's no maybe there is i don't know i don't i don't have it i don't i, don't, I can't say i can't say do a b c and d and you're going to get a job doing what i do or doing something even better than what i do but what i can say is if you change the way you think if you change the things you think about, if you change the people you hang out with, if you change the habits and you become obsessed with that thing you wanna do, nothing can stop you. It's absolutely impossible. The universe will get out of your way and things will start to happen and it'll seem like magic. And people will ask you how you got there and the only answer you'll have is I got lucky because it doesn't make any sense. And you know what it is, I know what it is and I, I told you guys, it just, I just changed the way I think. But some people aren't gonna accept that, and that's fine, that's cool. I didn't accept it when I first heard it 10 years ago because it just didn't make sense to me. But now that I'm living it, it makes a whole lot of sense. So guys, thanks for hanging out with me here. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, you can find me on Snapchat, Instagram. Leave a message or comment here. Um, man, I, I wish you guys the best. I'm a fan of man. I, everybody can have what they want. Uh, you just gotta go out there and get it. Change the way you think.